Hello viewers, you are welcome this time to have, uh, we are going to have a chat with Sister Sarah Sanyu. My name is Stephen Ogwang and it's our privilege after this time of viewing that wonderful music just to have a, a, a talk with our Sister Sarah Sanyu and ask her a few questions about this ministry of song leading and praise and worship leading. Now the film which you are watching all along and will continue to watch has been sponsored by Love a Child in Africa for Christ, a ministry of faith in action. And uh, this film uh, is, go, has been a blessing to many people in Africa. And wherever we shall be watching it, we are interested in knowing the secret from Sister Sarah Sanyu of what has inspired you. Sister Sarah Sanyu, um, I, I want to ask this question. What has really inspired you into this song leading ministry all this time along? Uh, really, what has it really inspired me in this ministry? It was in 1979 when I got saved. I mean, when I received Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. Mm -hmm. I was sick, suffering from ulcers. And it was a miracle that the Lord touched me and healed me. And since then, I decided to work for the Lord because this was something which I didn't pay for money. But this was something which just came as a gift from the Lord. And the Lord healed me. Since then, I decided to serve the Lord with the rest of my life. As the Bible says in Psalms 103, that bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name, and forget not all the good things he has done for you. And out of these so many good things the Lord has done for me, I will never forget to serve the Lord. Very good. Here is a lady who has been healed in 1979, which means you have actually been serving the Lord for the last um, 79. That's about 11 years. Yeah. Very good. Can you tell me how your spiritual background and uh, the routing, uh, the basis on which you minister, for example, do you have a home church? And another, ex another thing I want to know, do you work with other ministers? And what are the connections you have in ministry? Yeah, I have been, since I got saved in 1979, I have been serving with the Redeemed Society of the Lord. Redeemed Society of the Lord? Yeah. Okay. 
and I have been uh, serving in um, ministering in outside crusades with the international evangelists, um, singing together uh, with the uh, Living Sound Choir. Uh, these others um, have been also moving in different other countries like Zaire, Tanzania, Kenya, and I've ever been in Zambia. You mean actually when an international evangelist comes to Uganda, they would invite you to go and minister in such a crusade? Yeah, they've been inviting me to go and minister in those crusades. Like, for example? Uh, I have been ministering with Reinhard Bonke. Reinhard Bonke. Uh, okay, Don Double. Yeah, I know that British-born uh, evangelist. Okay, Sarah, another thing we would be interested in is really in these connections i mean it's it's interesting to know how god how does god provide for your welfare and your well-being as you serve him because you said since 79 i've been serving the lord how does the lord take good care of you you seem to be well dressed and you know how does the lord take good care of you yeah really the lord has been faithful to me as the bible says in the book of philippians chapter 4 that the Lord shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory because mm -hmm. the Lord has been faithful to me mm -hmm. uh, and he has been using different kind of people to bless me, um, to, help, to lift me up in the ministry as you can see. Um, the brother who has really, whom the Lord has touched to sponsor uh, this to film. Spons to sponsor this okay. film. Yes. Um, the Lord has been using different kind of people. Amen. Yeah. So, uh, dear viewers you can see this is an example of somebody who is really decided to surrender themselves to serve the lord yeah. it's really a challenge when i see sarah blessing so many people and leading so many congregations in uh, in praise and worship not only at the redeemed society of the lord but in various crusades it's a blessing indeed i just want to ask one question on your behalf dear viewers so that we know really what is in Sarah's heart. What is, uh, Sarah, what are you expecting when somebody's watching this video, this film? What do you expect them to, how do you expect them to respond? Because I know some people will get excited. Others will get, you know, there are different emotions which will come up. But what is the primary objective? Yeah, my primary obje objective in this film, as you watch it, it is really my prayer that the Lord will touch by His Spirit and let it minister to your own individual lives, in your own families, in the lives of your children, in the lives of your, of your husbands and wives, because this is a way how really we can break the powers of Satan in our lives as we praise the Almighty God. For the Bible says, the yoke shall be broken because of the anointing. And the Bible says in Psalms 22 verse 3, For God, thou art holy, thou inhabitest the praise of your own people. Once we get together with the Lord, he comes down to break down the yokes in our own lives and he needs and he provides our own needs. So viewers, I would like to wish you even a better viewing as you have now heard from the very heart of Sister Sarah Sanyu that you, she wants you to bathe in the praises. Amen. So bathe in the praises of the African, of the African beat. God bless you.
The leading Ugandan evangelist singer, Sarah Senyu, brings you a gospel music videotape, Nai Mbirani, whom we shall I sing for. A new release from Love a Child in Africa for Christ, a Christian organization found at Naflavi Town Centre. Get your video copy now for your spiritual home and family edification by watching Sarah Senyu into the gospel music of praise and worship from Love a Child in Africa for Christ, a minister of faith in action at Yusuf Mukasa building, Nakulabi Town Center. <laughs> 